Good evening, this is Woodblock Bentmaker Dave Bolt, here on the third floor of our new building in Asakusa, up in the room we built for our printers. It's evening now and they've all gone home, but I had my camera busy earlier today, mostly focused on the work happening on this bench behind me, the one that was claimed by young Ayumi Miyashita. In the previous video in this series, we saw her create a batch of small postcard sized prints, this one of the Kamogama Shrine in Kyoto. But with that experience under her belt, we're now moving on to something a bit more substantial. Her next project will be to make an edition of this Koitsu design of the famous Matsushima district up in the Tohoku region near Sendai. As before, she will be using the block set lent to us by the Doi Hanga Company, who are happy to have us bring them back to life. Once we began, we were very pleased to find that this block set is nowhere near as badly worn as that for that previous small print. Well used, well yes, but nowhere near the tens of thousands that were printed for that other one. Problems a few, there's a couple of splits here and there, and there's a little bit of warping. Usable, very much so. In fact, as some of you already know, I myself used this same block set to do a few demonstrations over in Canada a couple of months back. Anyway, let's get down to it. In this episode, we're not going to get all the way through to the end of the print. I'll first include a short interview that I did with Aimi-san at this bench earlier today. And then we'll see some footage of her when she was doing the setup for this print, cutting the paper, doing what we call the manicure on the corners, and preparing it with moisture ready for printing. We'll see her do the key block, and then I think we'll probably get as far as the first color on the sky. And that's all we'll have time for tonight. Anyway, enough talk. Let's finally, in one of those videos, let's finally get down and watch some printmaking. Let's get started. Ami-san, good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for this one? Good, 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 good. I know, you know, you finished that job, the Kamigama Shrine one, and those blocks were a crazy mess. Mm. We had to fix the registration marks. It was just, <laughs> ah, how are these blocks? Yeah, <laughs> Okay, good. These were really, you know, they were worn out so badly. They were almost flat, you know. These are kind of okay, are they? Well, I'm not sure how to do it. 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 I'm not sure how it does. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? More. I wish I was printing this. So, so, uh, uh, how many colors are going to be in this print? Well,えっと、紙がも神社が十色ぐらいだったんですけど、まあでも今回はその倍の二十色ぐらい、二十回ずりぐらいになって、まあ色はもっと増えると思うんですけど。yeah, for example, on this block, how many times will you use this block? So, this one is only one block. This is the sky block. But on the top, you can use it for one or two or two or two or two or two. Then, the orange is on the top. Then, the part of the black is on the top. Then, the sky is on the top. Then, the base is on the top. Then, the temple is on the top. So that's seven times just for this one block. How many blocks are there all together? More than that, I think nearly 30 to show, between 20 and 30 somewhere. What are you going to use for a model for this print? Ah, these are some of the copies we made, right, from internet internet places. Yeah. So. But the colors are so different. It's crazy. This is the real one from 19, what is it, 1938 or so, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Can you get close to this? Yeah. <laughs> It's so beautiful, you know, but everything, the paper was such nice paper, everything was so beautiful. So, you know, so. 
Well, I think we can do it. You know, we've prepared well. I know you've got lots of experience now. And uh, please, I'll be looking forward to having your print. Just, looks, <laughs> just as good as this one. <laughs> okay. All right. She's done all her preparation, as you saw in the previous video. The paper cutting is ready. The paper moisturing is ready. And from now on, she's going to get going and give this a go. We're going to film you every step of the way here. We're watching really closely. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> good luck. Hi, okay, good Once she's got the paper all trimmed to size, the next job for her is what we call manicure in Japanese. It's a nail polish, a clear nail polish. And she uses it to toughen up each corner because with so many colors in this print, the corners tend to get beaten up by the time we get to the end of the process. Once that's done, it's time to get the paper moist and she'll do this always the night before or the day before printing starts. And uh, either touching up each sheet or each two sheets, depending on what the uh, humidity is like in the air at the time. And next morning printing begins. And in our work we always start of course with the key block and that's what she's doing here today. Carefully rubbing it out, make sure there's no uh, what we call tamari blots between the lines, getting it smooth and being very, very careful with the registration because, of course, this is the key to the whole rest of the process. Here's the first stage on our long journey. There's so many colors in this print, and she's going to be making so many copies, it's going to take her a couple of weeks to get this all done. If we just left the paper sitting there, moist all the time, it would soon go moldy. So at the end of every day's work, she packs them up in groups, carefully lines them up, and puts them in the freezer till next time she gets ready to start. And in the next session, color printing begins, and she's going to start with the base tone on the sky, which she's going to do twice. It's done with a blend of water, paste, and the pigment itself. And of course, in the brush there, the pigment is at the top end, and it's lightly, lightly, lightly scattering down through the water on the block as she rubs side to side. I said she does each sheet twice, and I guess I can see some blue on the back of this one, so this must be the second pass through this particular sheet. She does them A, B, A, B, A, B, one after the other. After a printing impression like this, the paper is very soft and very sensitive. She has to be really careful when handling it, not to leave any creases or marks. Back in the freezer it goes, ready for the next day. 
So there we are. Work is finally underway and things look good so far. In the next episode, which should follow pretty soon because she's going to really keep at this, we'll see Aimi-san work through more of the color stages one by one. I'll also probably be scanning these and putting them up on the website somewhere as we go through. I'll put a description of this somewhere in this video explanation. Whether the next video will get right to the end or not, I can't tell. It's too soon to see. To close off, let's get back to what I used to be doing a while ago in these videos some months ago and head outside for a minute. And uh, Remember I did one where I put those microphones in my ears and walked up near Sensoji Temple on a very quiet Sunday morning? Well, let's see what it's like on a noisy Sunday evening here. I'll put the mics back in my ears, grab my camera, and I'll take a walk from my front door around the block and then back to my front door. It'll be pretty noisy, I think. Anyway, I hope you like it. Thank you for watching again, and thanks for your patience while these videos have taken such a long time to prepare. Good night for now.